I found this picture on Redfin. Um, and the reason that I picked it is because this is a pretty common occurrence here in Portland, is that you will have a house that's higher, the elevation is higher than the sidewalk. And so you have this quick, short, little sloped piece of um, terrain here in the front. And it's pretty easy to take the elevation. In fact, just based on this picture, I can kind of quickly guess that this is one foot. Oh, man, my cursor. So um, your average riser is going to be about six inches. They can all be a little bit different. But assuming that this is six inches, I can see that it is, let's see, one foot, two foot, probably three feet in elevation right here. So based on that information, I'm just going to quickly make a, um, a site model based on this. And of course, if you've been to the property and you've taken elevation from a number, to, number of different spots, you're going to come away with a more accurate site model. So the method that we're going to use to create our actual site model is by using the stakes tool. And the stakes tool is located over here in the site planning tool set. And the icon for that tool looks like this. So before we start placing stakes into our drawing, let's come up here to the mode bar and look at the stake tool preferences. There's one field that you're going to want to pay attention to, and that is this first field for mode. Because we're using these stakes to create a site model from, you want to make sure that the mode is set to include as site model data. So as long as that's set correctly, go ahead and click OK. Um, next up, we have our first mode is the standard insertion mode, and all that means is that wherever I click, it's going to include a stake. If I come over here to the second mode, this is the poly vertex placement mode. What that's going to do is just place a series of vertex one click after the next. So here is what that mode looks like, and then to end it, I just double click, and so everywhere that I clicked, it now gives me a stake. So let's go ahead and delete all of those. The only other thing that we need to look at up here in the mode bar is in this third section, we have elevation. And so that's what the stakes are recording. They're, they are recording an elevation in our drawing. And so as we start drawing our property that we looked at, um, because for the most part, this property is pretty flat except for up here in front by the sidewalk, that's where we've got a difference of three feet in elevation. And so for the stakes that we're going to add to our drawing around here, it's all going to be three feet in elevation, and this is where you would set that. Now, of course, if you've placed a stake in your drawing already, we can always come back over here in Object Info Palette and change the elevation, and that would be located up here under the Z field. So if that were one and a half feet, we would just change that in the Object Info Palette. Now we're ready to start adding stakes to our file, but first what I want to do is go ahead and add some simple, some simple guidelines to this. And so I like using the 2D Locust tool for that. So down here, we're going to say that the street is over here. And so I am going to place a 2D locust right there. And then I want to move that 2D locust up by six feet. That's going to be the parking strip. So I'm going to come over here in the object info palette. And under the Y field, I'm going to do plus six feet. Then I'm going to add another 2D locust point, And this is going to represent the sidewalk now. And so I'm going to go for another plus five feet. And then I'm going to add one more um, 2D locus to that. And that is going to represent the beginning of my steps to the end of my steps. So I know that I have six risers in these stairs because that's what we were looking at when we were sort of estimating the elevation on this property. And so that means that I have five treads. So I'm going to come over here and place another 2D locus point in the drawing. And then this time I am going to say that each riser is about 15 inches and there are five of them. So five times 15 is going to be 60 and that's 60 inches. So once again, under the Y field, I'm just going to do plus 60. And so this is essentially where 
my site model is going to become three feet in elevation, and this is zero feet in elevation right here between both of those. So we're ready to go ahead and add stakes into this file. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to leave this in standard insertion mode. And then for elevation, we'll start with, I'm going to recommend don't do zero, maybe just do like um, 0.25 inches, so a quarter of an inch. Um, if you do zero, your site model is going to moray down there, which means you're going to have like this jagged green and brown lines where the site model doesn't know like what's the top of the site model versus what's the middle of the site model. So you can cure that just simply by giving it a little bit of elevation. And so in fact, I'm just going to make this one tenth of an inch. And then if you'll remember, we want to draw our site model much larger than we need it to be. So I'm going to sort of click and drag away from my property line. So a large front as well as large sides. And that's going to be my first click. The other thing that you want to keep in mind when you're creating a site model is that you want to use the fewest number of stakes needed in order to accomplish your goal. Because the more stakes in your site model, the larger your file and the slower your rendering is going to be. So um, we can still make fairly accurate site models, but just reducing the number of stakes. So I'm going to go ahead. I still want my site model to be lined up. So I will just click and um, use my smart points to align this and then place a second stake over here on the right hand side. So next up, I'm going to come over here. Remember, so this is the end of the parking strip. This is the end of the sidewalk. And so I want my next stakes to be at the end of the sidewalk. So I'm just going to use my smart points, line those up. And then same thing, we're going to add those smart points over here. So now I'm ready to come up here and change the elevation to three feet. And then once again, I am just going to line these up using my smart points. Let's see. Let's see if we can get those to line up. There we go. So there's my three feet. So now I just need to add those three foot stakes to the um, backyard part of the property or behind the property. All right. So next up, I need to come over here and in the basic tool set, I'm just going to get the select similar tool so that I can select all eight of those stakes. And one thing I would recommend before you actually create your site model is it can be helpful to look at where those um, stakes are in 3D. And, you know, it can be hard to know is that exactly where it should be or isn't it. But the reason that you would look at this is let's say that one stake you accidentally entered it in at 30 feet and so hopefully you would catch a really large mistake like this that just doesn't make sense with the rest of your model. So I always recommend taking a look at where these stakes are placed in 3D before you finalize your model.